ChatGPT is an artificial intelligence chatbot developed by OpenAI that specializes in dialogue. ChatGPT is a state-of-art conversations AI model that is capable of engaging in human-like conversations. It allows you to generate conversational text to any question you might have. It can write a song for you or even code for you. Isn't it cool? ChatGPT is such a hot topic these days and it has reached more than a million users within a week of its release. And in this video, I am going to share how to set up your account with ChatGPT and how to use it. So without any further ado, let's jump straight into it. Welcome back, this is Kupreet from DataWiz Canvas and today we are going to talk about ChatGPT, a game changer chatbot developed by OpenAI. ChatGPT provides a natural language interface with a dialogue back and forth where you can interact with it, refine it, and computer does all that for you. And today I'll be showing you how to set up an account and how to use it. All right, let's jump straight into it and see how we can set up an account with chat GPT. So first of all, you will open a browser and type it in chat.openai.com and you will see this interface where it will ask you to log in or sign up. In order to access chat GPT, you have to have an account with OpenAI. So let's start by clicking on sign up. So once you click on sign up, it will ask you to enter your email address and select a password. Once you do that, you will get an authentication verification email in your inbox. After clicking on that link and provided your phone number, you are all set to go. So once you have your account set up, you can simply go and log in and you will see this basic interface. So now you can start asking questions. So let's start with what is chat GPT? So it will give us the information that ChatGPT is a chatbot training using the GPT-3 model. So you can also create a conversation based on the response you get from ChatGPT. So let's say I want to ask now, like, is ChatGPT based on NLP? So let's see what it says. Based on NLP, it is trying to create a natural language interface with a dialogue back and forth, similar to the way we interact with humans. So you can have a two-way conversations with this chatbot. You can ask more questions like, write a romantic song. So it will give you a romantic song on heart. Isn't it cool? And also if I want to know something about technology, you can write any questions like, what is artificial intelligence? So you can write that one as well and simply press enter. So it can give you information about anything whatever is in mind you just ask a question and it will give you an information also it is really cool for developers who want to learn coding who doesn't know much about coding and this tool can help them write a code so for example i want to know about how to write a python code to extract data from excel so i will ask chat gpt about that so here you go so once once i ask that question now chat gpt is trying to write the Python code just to import the data from an Excel file. How easy it is. We don't need to do anything. This gives us a starting point where we can get the code, put it in our coding platform and start from there. And also it helps us to fix the code if we are writing something and we get an error. So it will fix that and let us know where the error is. So for example, if I say, fix the below SQL code. So select star, I will intentionally write incorrect spelling of from table and put multiple brackets and press enter. Let's see what it says. So here it gives you the corrected version of the SQL code and it also gives you the explanation what was wrong and how to use it. Isn't it so powerful? It will save a lot of time and help us to get to the desired result really quick. So this was one of the interface. Well, there is another interface which you can use and it will give you more customization options. So let's open that one. So 
I will put the link in the description below as well. And so it is beta.openai playground. So this interface provides you more customization option as you can see on the right hand side. By default, it selects the model which is currently being in use, the GPT-3 model. And it also gives us the option to change the length and other customization options as well. So it also by default shows the probabilities as off, but you can keep it on with the most likely least likely of full spectrum. So multiple options you can do it here. And same way you can type any questions like write an essay on chat GPT and submit it will give you all the essay on chat GPT. Also, there is a load preset options, which gives you multiple options like summarize for a second grader or text to command or Q&A, a lot of different options which you can set and it will give you the results based on those preset. So what do we mean by these presets? So for that, we will go to examples to understand more. So once we go there, you can see here all these examples. And if we say summarize for second grader so what does that mean so let's click on that it says that it translates the difficult text into a simple concepts which can be understand understood by second grader so this is the entire text on the planet and it gives you the simple response in a simple easy to understand language and same way you can look at grammar collection so it also corrects the sentences into standard English. So if you write something like, she not went to market, the response which ChatGPT will give is, she didn't go to the market, which is the correct grammar, correct sentence formation. So it's quite powerful. So if you want more inspiration on how to use ChatGPT, you can use various examples from here and play around with it. Next one we can use is JavaScript helper chatbot. This is a message style chatbot that can answer questions about using JavaScript. So you can simply give the prompt and you can simply ask questions about how can I combine arrays and it will give you the options like you can use set timeout method and also give you an API request like what it is sending in the form of Python. You can use that and copy it into your programming code as well. So it is really cool, it will help us a lot. And it is completely free as of now, as a part of initial research preview. We can go to the basic interface and check the FAQs, and we can go to chat GPT FAQs, and it will give you all the information you need. As I mentioned earlier, how much does it cost? As a part of initial research preview, it is free, but it can be paid in future. Only time will tell how much it will cost in future. So you can also see all the questions on how does ChatGPT work? Why does AI seem so real and lifelike? So these all questions you can go through it if you are more interested on how these things works. I will also put the link in the description below. Hope you guys enjoyed this session. And if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out and go through the links in the description below. Thank you.